Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully the lighting is better. I'm still working on this whole lighting thing because there are videos that are too warm um, and it makes me look orange. Sometimes it's too dark. So I'm trying this one right here. Uh, it's later on in the evening and my door is shut and I just have one light on. So hopefully this turns out right. But today I wanted to go ahead and bring you the two limited edition MAC lipsticks that I purchased. One of them is an Evening Buzz, which is like a cool toned lavender. And it's this shade right here. The next one is Flatter Me Fierce. It's more like a brighter bluish tone and it's right here and whenever I saw these colors I just knew that I had to have them I waited and waited and waited for them to be released I was up all night and then I fell asleep and in the meantime I talked myself out of getting flatter me fierce and just went with the evening buzz and then a couple days later I ended up getting flatter me fierce before even getting evening buzz and so I did try these previously, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a live swatch of these. I already have my opinion on them and I will let you know. I'm going to use the viewfinder. Now, as you can see, it did kind of take a little bit of work. Let me go ahead and, and um, focus you in here. It does look opaque, but I had to go ahead and do a couple swipes. If you are familiar with MAC lipsticks, you will know that pretty much with one swipe, maybe two, you'll go ahead and you will get a perfect application. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put on Flatter Me Fierce for you. Now here's Flatter Me Fierce. And I'll go ahead and I'll bring you in closer. As you can tell, I did have to, again, the same thing with the Evening Buzz, I did have to go ahead and do a little bit more work. I'm not wearing a lip liner, obviously. But I did need to go ahead and go in with a few layers. Now, if you're familiar with MAC, uh, you know that they have a great formula on their regular lipsticks. And whenever I first started to get into makeup and I started to watch people, they always said to stay away from the MAC Limited Edition. Because they're never the same quality. I saw the colors of this, I believe it's the Color Rocker series, and I said, you know, it wasn't even a thought to me. I just knew right away that I wanted those two colors and I totally ignored that they were limited edition. Now, even though these are comfortable for the lips and even though with a little bit of work and just a couple more layers, you can get an opaque uh, color, I have a complaint. These wear off and these wear off quickly. If you're familiar with the matte formula or any MAC lipsticks in general, you'll know maybe you need to reapply once, maybe twice a day, depending on what you eat. This is not the case. Uh, you could just sit there and be talking and then all of a sudden 
you have to take you have to go ahead and you have to reapply it goes off so quick and it does not fade nicely uh, I'm not going to be returning these these are colors that are not in my collection my lesson has been learned uh, I'm not I'm no longer going to be purchasing limited edition products I love Mac Mac is dear to my heart it's one of my holy grail brands if there was ever a brand that I would want to stick with it'll be Mac I love their foundation I love the Mac fix plus I love their primers I love their lipsticks I love their blush I love their eyeshadows uh, I've not I've never tried their mascara before but I'm sure if I tried the right one I would love that too but these limited edition ones in my opinion you should just completely ignore them I would do a wear test for you but honestly this would be a really quick wear test because it literally would just fade off. I'm going to take a drink. As you can see here, just on this, it's a mess. It gets all over. And normally, with the MAC lipsticks, that doesn't happen. And I'm going to show you. Let me see here. What color should I go ahead and do? I'm going to do Velvet Teddy. See how easy that was? Fully opaque without even trying. It was really fast and everything. Now, let me go ahead and wipe off my straw. As you can tell, there's nothing. There's a slight lip imprint. The color is not off. If you want to say, okay, well, that's a nude. It's okay. Let me show you. My lips are going to be so raw after this. That's okay. This is totally worth it because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there just, that just loves MAC and is dying over this collection. And I just want to show you, I want to save you a bit of money. Let's go with Twig, this shade right here. In fact, I'll swatch it for you on my hand. That color. Let's do this. Again, one swipe. Full opacity. Once again, wipe off my straw. As you can see, nothing. Nothing. There might be a, like a slight lip imprint, but there's nothing. You want to say, oh, but that's still a nude. Okay. Let's go with a different color then. Let's go with something completely different. Let's go with the Viva Glam 4. This is a frost. Let me swatch that for you. It's this shade right here. Clearly not a matte. Obviously, you could build it up, but that's pretty much full opacity. Let's go ahead and, t and uh, wipe off my straw. Once 
once you and once again all you see is just a little tiny mark now mind you I didn't let this dry down or anything so let's go back to the other color just to remind you let's go back to evening buzz this is just one swipe see that you have to still build it up. That's decent. Let's wipe off the straw again, shall we? Drink. You have it all over the place. You literally have it all over the place. It's all over the straw. So I think that it's safe to say, although these colors are pretty, and although the MAC formula is absolutely fantastic, I don't recommend these. I suggest you save your money, find something in their regular collection that is better, or, or you can go ahead and go with, like I know NYX has got some colors that are equal to this. Um, I know other brands do, also have other colors that are similar to this. I would go with them. Save your money, save your $17, and simply just go with a different brand. Like I said, the colors are pretty, the colors are out there, but so many brands are coming out with colors that are out there so I just wanted to go ahead and bring that to you to hopefully save you some money if you're on the fence about buying the new MAC lipsticks so hopefully this was informative and I hope that it helped you out and I will see you in my next video bye